What's up YouTube, got another video today guys, and guess what, got a surprise. Sponsored by Gulf Runner Seafood, I got this 16 pound alligator today. You see him today? This is what we're gonna be putting on the smoker. Hey, this is a first time smoking a gator, so I've been watching a lot of other YouTube videos, just like everybody, you watch mine and you watch other people's, to get ideas so we're not reinventing the wheel. So I'm just gonna take it from all my own little spin on it. I might take it from here and there. But we're gonna get this baby smoked today. And I hope it comes out good. I'm sure it will. Thank you, Go For the Seafood, for supplying this. Stay tuned. So look, we got this gator laid out right here. Let me show you some things I'm gonna be using. I got me some boudin right here. This is pepper jack cheese boudin. I picked up from Gulf Runner Seafood. Supplied straight out of Louisiana from T-Boy Slaughterhouse. And I'm gonna be putting this right here in this tail. Got some seasonings over here I'm gonna be using. I decided to go with the Cajun style Holy Voodoo by Meat Church. I got some Heath Riles garlic butter right there. I think that's gonna be a good addition to it. Then I got me some of this duck fat I'm gonna be spraying on it to help that rub adhere to the, the meat. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I've already done a few things on here. And let me show you, this is the top of the tail. This is where all the good meat is from what I've learned. And this is the stuff you're gonna be, I mean, giving out most of the people they're gonna be wanting. So you can eat this whole gator, it tastes good, but there's different parts of it. And you notice these legs right here, they still got the, the skin on them, but you know, they say this, Tastes like almost like turkey or you know mixed between dark meat chicken, so we're gonna be having that today. And from what I showed you right here, what I did is you know what you do is fillet all the way and find the bone in here. And I took my knife and just filleted that out, found the bone and ran it across. Open this up right here, and there's some fat. And let me show you what this fat. I already took some off. I got this little fat right here, and this stuff won't render. And a lot of times, um, this right here gives you the gamey taste sometimes. So we're gonna, I want that open up because I want to really season it in there. And just to show you an example of what I did, I already got this size started right here. And I'm gonna take my knife, okay? Just find that bone right here and just kind of be careful with your knife, guys, and kind of keep finding it. Just go down and keep going and just kind of run it across the bone until it opens up right there kind of cut back a little bit get that all open up that way we can stuff this bad boy watch the fingers like me you don't want to cut yourself and you can hear that as i go and i think that's pretty good Right there, and that bone, you can feel it. It kind of goes like a T, kind of like this. It kind of goes like a T. And then you take some of this fat right here and just shave it off. And be careful, guys, like I said. Now with these young gators, I'm not no gator expert. From what I'm seeing, I gotta get my knife right. Let me come over here. All right, that's better. From what I'm seeing, you gotta get some of this fat out that won't render. And a lot of times a young gator, it won't have a lot of fat like the big ones. So I'm not gonna go too crazy on this. I'm just gonna get what doesn't look right from my experience of doing meat, finding stuff that won't render. Okay, hopefully I didn't cut too far into that. Okay, and that's about it. You can see I've already started cutting the other side right there. And I think that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut a little more of this because I'm gonna put some of that boudin a little fur further up in there. And that's good. Let's see if I got any more. All right. And look at that fat. There's some right there. Let me get that off. Right there. Let's put that right there. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn it over for you guys. I'll show you what I did to the other side. Now, on the other side is some good meat. Now, you see I picked this up, I've already done one side. That's the loin right there. 
that's going to be real tender. That's probably the best part from what I heard of the gator. And you can see I cut a little bit into the next side, but that's okay. You know, trial and error. Like I said, I haven't done this before, but y'all going to experience it with me. So just going to go to the other side, take a little bit of the fat off. And something interesting I found with this gator is you can almost put your fingers in there. If you pull back this meat right here, the loin should loosen up, as you can see. You don't want to take that all the way out. Just leave it like that. And now you got both of your loins. Take this fat, reach your finger under here. And a lot of times, I think that's because it's a, such a young gator. I don't have to really cut a lot of this fat. Some of it I will, but you know, it's gonna take a little work to get it all off. Try not to tear up the meat when I'm doing this, but just get as much as you can out. Should rip up just like that. Some of it's a little tough. I might have, I might have to use my knife, but I'm trying to use my hands most of the time. It's got a little bit different texture to it from other pieces of the meat as far as fat concerned. Okay, so I think I'll just take my knife. I'll just get that off right there. Get a lot of that off. I want that to taste real good. Let me take some of this. Get that. Make sure you have a sharp knife. It's not really hard to cut, but you know, kind of like brisket. If it's not cold, real cold, then it's, it's gonna be hard to cut. And I can see that with this a little bit, but I got a sharp knife. I'm using my little bubble blade I just got. Well, I got a couple of them, but, and this does the job from what it seems like. Cut that off right there. I think that's the little piece I want right there. There we go, okay. I'm not gonna do no more to that. I'm actually scared to do any more. <laughs> so that's good on that one right there. And what I failed to mention to you guys now, I did brine this. So I brined this overnight from yesterday and I used um, some Meat Church um, brine seasoning. And I'll show you that, you can see that in the video. And I'll have it listed below what I use. Ice and some um, Louisiana crab boil. And I put that all in my cooler and let that sit overnight because getting a lot of the flavors out, take some of that gamey taste out. See if some more fat I want to take off. Just go through this. If you see anything. And that's fat right there. Take as much as this you can off. Go through here, right here. Like you said, wash your fingers. I kind of pull up as I'm doing this. And that should be good. I'm not going to worry about stuffing this. There's a fat inside right here. You can get out if you want. I'll take that and kind of rip that out of there. You see how easy it comes up. All right. Get that from the other side. I think because that's so close to the grill on the bottom, I'm going to leave the rest. That way I don't have to worry about burning or drying it out. So let's get this um, seasoned up. So I'm gonna season this side first. Get my hands washed up before I touch one of my seasoning bottles. And you can do this with gloves or not, but I'm at home and pretty much hands are washed. If you're in a, if you was in a kitchen, shoot, they, they don't use gloves in culinary school. So <laughs> let's do this. Let's go ahead and get some of this heat riles first. And like, like I said, let me, uh, Spray it with a little duck fat first. So what I want to do, so I'm gonna get this, this a little coating before I can stick it. All right. Help get some of that flavor in there. Help that rub stick. Get it all seasoned up. Lift up these loins. Season the inside. Get 
Make sure you get your legs. Get some other parts of this tail. All right, I'm gonna take my other season, a holy voodoo, and I'm gonna hit this like that. Don't be shy on this either. Get it all in there. I don't wanna miss anything. Kinda of interested, you know, I eat fried gator, but I'm kinda of interested what this is gonna taste like smoke. I love experiment. Let's see. Get under some of that cheek muscle. Here's your jowl muscle right there. That meat's gonna be good. That's what they call a jowl. It's basically your cheek. Okay, so I think that's good enough right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned over. And we'll season the top part. Get these legs situated. <laughs> Rinse my hand off. All right, let's get this buddy seasoned up on this side. Same way we did the other side. seasoned up and as you saw I was putting some of that cream cheese boudin up inside those fillet parts out on the top of the tail I didn't worry about the bottom or doing the inside I just put it up here and hit it with a little more seasoning that I wanted we're gonna let this rest out right here go out and check our smoker I think that boy is ready to go then we'll be putting this on <music> All right, smoker is ready to go. I'm gonna run this about 250, 275 today. Sitting at 275 right now. It's probably gonna come down a little bit. Let's get this open. Now I got a rack on here to help me get it off later. And I got a drip pan with a little bit of water in there for the help for the moisture. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna situate this thing on here. So let me just get it picked up. Pick up this tail, don't wanna drop anything. Get that picked up just like that. Kind of hide the small part of the tail inside. And then I'm gonna put a little piece of boudin kind of fell out. Let's get that fixed. There we go. Get that put back in, in there. All right. I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna let that foot prop that up right there, that stuffing. And I'll hit it every now and then with a little bit of water. Get his foot put over, over here. And then we need something to prop his mouth up with. So I got a little piece of wood. And bam, there it is. Think he's ready to go? Ready to hit the long smoke. About four hours, I think it's gonna take. And we'll check it every day and make sure it don't burn. All right, so smoker's been rolling. You can see almost about 250. Been rolling for a while. It's been about three hours. Let's take a look at it. It's looking good. Let's go around and take a look. I had to put some string on there because it was, you can see it started coming apart right there. But other than that, 
looking real good boy oh boy so what i'm looking for is an eternal temp of 165 but we're probably not there i'm gonna take my thermal pen i got right here and we're gonna sit back and we'll see if i can get this on video thickest part of the gator go right up in there see what we got 138 140 140 right there just curious of uh, maybe some other parts maybe that leg right there go right up in there 142 is about even about even so i don't think it's about ready yet i think we got it maybe another 45 minutes to an hour and we're going to close this boy up before i do that got me a little bit of apple cider vinegar water and hot sauce let's hit that up and really guys i've been basting this maybe every 30 minutes to keep the moisture on it and i still have water in that pan so should be good to go i'm gonna close the top go back in maybe enjoy a beer we'll come back in the glaze i'm gonna check the temp first then we're gonna put a glaze okay ready ready all right guys so we're back out here i think this thing is about ready that we can glaze it sitting about 250 like i wanted it the whole time courtesy of my cyber cube so let's go ahead and raise this up look at it i'm going to take a temperature and see what this is hope we can see it right there in that loin it's 46 50 so it's about 152 go a little deeper and that's perfect because we're going to 165 and i think about you know 10 12 degrees off we want to start glazing it so we can let that glaze sit up so i got a some um, rib cavity, apple, cherry, habanero, mixed with some butter. And I got it mixed with a little bit of holy voodoo. So I'm gonna take my grill brush and I'm gonna just go over this and dab it. Get a little shine going on it. Let that glaze right around that meat. the little foots get all in there forget the little piece of tail here in the back just get everything you can reach Let's see if I get back there yep there we go I'm gonna try to get behind here you might not can get it but you know what I'm doing at the back end blaze his little head up give him a little facial make him shiny get carried away in a minute I don't waste none of this glaze oh forgot a leg almost All right, so there we are. It's all glazed up. And I'm going to let this joker sit, and the next time we look at it, it'll be sitting on that counter ready. Finally, we're done. We're back in. Gator's off the smoker. Take a look at this joker right here. Man, oh, man. Look at it. Oh, it looks good. It's got a piece of that smoke wood. I think he likes barbecue, too glazed up on the head glaze kind of set inside the meat but i'll taste it it's real good guys look at that boudin cream cheese stuffing right there i put inside that top of that tail i'm ready to eat let's look at what I, you know this is perfect we got some crawfish sausage jambalaya kind of get some of that give me a bowl right here put some of that in there real quick just a little bit Said so just a little bit. See which part we want to cut from right here. Hmm. I wonder. Let's see. I'm gonna take a piece of this this tail meat right here. I think I'm gonna break that off right there. Let's 
chop all that up right there. Get some of this, this boudin right here, stuffing. Put that a little bit right there. No, I got some loin. Get over here. I know that loins are down here somewhere. I want to get that off. Raise this up. That's what I want. Piece of that right there. That's what I want right there. Look at that meat right there. All that right there. Try to get a good angle so I can break this up. Woo wee. Good old meat. Place, place some of that in there. A little bit of gator meat. Right there. And that's it, guys. Let's see which one of these tastes. I want a piece of that loin right there. Mmm. 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 That's real good. I can taste that spice that I get from the brine. All through there. It's like fried turkey almost. Uh, it's real good. It's a little bit dark meat. Almost like uh, turkey meat right there. And pork, more of. That's real good. Hope y'all like this video. Dang, thanks for sticking with me throughout this cook. Took about four, four and a half hours. I think I'm ready for some gator. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, share this video. Till next time, two picks.